I always wanted to, to be in, in medicine um, since I was young, uh, probably about the age of eight. I, I knew that I wanted to, to be involved with medicine and, and help people. By the time I was 10 years old, I, I knew that I wanted to do more of the surgical um, type of uh, practice. And so, you know, from an, from an early age, for whatever reason, I was always drawn to, uh, to, to surgery and to medicine and um, just kind of all, never really thought about doing anything else. And, just kind of grew on me the more that I was exposed to to medicine and surgery, the more interested I became. So it was a, it was a good fit. I do feel that it's in, important to, to listen to your patients, um, take the time to to really understand uh, what they're going going through, as well as um, try to, to to listen to them because you know, many times it's it's the it's in the details that they're that they're describing where you're really going to find you know, the, the diagnosis and you're going to be able to you know, determine what treatment is appropriate. One treatment's not going to necessarily be the, the, the treatment that's going to be for everyone and so you really got to listen to the patients, listen to their needs and you know let them be a part of the decision-making process and their treatment process. With medicine we always try to to leave the the surgical realm kind of for after we've exhausted all other types of conservative treatment um, and you know if all else fails you know kind of taking the surgery because we realize that uh, with surgery you know there's there's uh, potential complications but there's also a lot of uh, pain and and suffering you know those first you know, few weeks to a few months after surgery so um, it's not something that we, we take lightly, lightly as surgeons you, you really want to exhaust all those conservative measures. I think in general, um, our patients uh, that have you know, total ankle replacements um, seem to, to be the most pleased with the, the outcomes. You know, these are patients that are coming in and having a, a severe amount of pain, uh, arthritis uh, in their ankles, and, and you know, they've tried injections, they've tried, you know, a lot of them have been on pain medications and anti-inflammatories and, and all kinds of, you know, bracing and, and other treatment. And they come in and they're just kind of at that, at their wits end, they just don't know what else uh, to do. And if they meet the right criteria, you know, a, a, a total ankle replacement um, can eliminate, you know, a majority of the pain, um, but also allow them uh, to get back to near regular activity. Um, and so I think those are the, the patients that, you know, when they think that they're going to require an ankle fusion or, or, you know, that there's no hope, but they come in and, and you replace their ankle joint and they're moving around and they're, and they're happier than they ever thought that they'd be.